Christian Meditation, The Secret of Power. Then he called his twelve disciples together, and gave them power and authority over all devils, Luke 9, 1. The first thing is always to come to Christ himself. We can do nothing until we have been to him. We should take every commission from his lips, and go out always with the blessing of his touch upon our heads. It is related of one of Wellington's officers that when commanded, during a battle, to do some perilous duty, he seemed to hesitate. He did not for a moment shrink from the hazardous service, but he said to the Duke, Let me, before I go, have one grip of your all-conquering hand, and then I can do it. There is no duty too perilous, no toil too heavy, no task too responsible, if, as we start, we have the inspiration of Christ's hand grasp and his cheering words. Christ alone can give power for the work he bids us do. His followers are to have authority over devils. Anyone who tries to cast out devils in his own strength, whether the devil be in himself or in some other, will meet only miserable failure. A man may rule nations and conquer kingdoms, and yet be unable to eject one devil from his own breast. Alexander conquered the world, but he was overthrown by the devils of appetite and passion. Men are forever foolishly trying to battle unaided with the evil of their own natures, but they fail in the struggle. The same is true of power over devils and others. Once the disciples, in Christ's absence, tried to cast out an evil spirit, and could not do it. Yet they ought to have been able in Christ's name to cast out the demon. Jesus said afterward that the reason they could not do it was that they had not faith. He wants every follower of his to have power over all forms of evil in this world, not miraculous power, such as he gave the apostles, but real power. And if only we have faith in him, he will always give us power.